Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss some questions from vector algebra. Okay, first we can see ninth question. Okay, are you ready? Let us start. Find modulus of vector x if for a unit vector vector a. Vector a means that is a unit vector. So, magnitude of vector a is equal to 1. Then, x minus a dot x plus a is equal to 12. We should find the value of magnitude of x. Then, x minus a dot x plus a that is equal to 12 x dot x means that is modulus of x square correct modulus of x square then vector x dot a vector means that is x vector dot a vector minus a vector dot x vector then minus a vector dot a vector means modulus of a vector square that is equal to 12. We know modulus of a vector that is equal to 1. So modulus of x vector square then we can cancel these two. Then minus 1 is equal to 12. Then modulus of vector x square is equal to 13. Therefore modulus of vector x is equal to root of 13. Understood? Okay, x minus a vector dot x plus a vector that is equal to 12. Then we should open the bracket. We can cancel these two. Then modulus of vector a square means that is 1. So modulus of x square minus 1 is equal to 12. So modulus of x vector square is equal to 13. So modulus of x is equal to root of 13. Okay, then we can see 10th question. Then 10th question. Vector A is equal to 2i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. Vector B is equal to minus i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap. Vector C is equal to 3i cap plus j cap are such that vector A plus lambda B is perpendicular to C. Then find the value of lambda. Okay. Then first we should find the vector A plus lambda times of vector b that is equal to vector a means that is 2i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap plus lambda times of vector b means that is minus i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap okay that is equal to we should take i cap outside 2 minus lambda 2 minus lambda plus j outside 2 plus 2 lambda lambda into 2 means that is 2 lambda 2 plus 2 lambda okay then plus k into 3 plus lambda okay then vector a plus lambda times of vector b dot c that is equal to 0. That means i into 2 minus lambda plus j into 2 plus 2 lambda plus k into 3 plus lambda dot c. C means that is 3 i cap plus j cap that is equal to 0. Okay. I dot I means 3 into 2 minus lambda plus J dot J that is 2 plus 2 lambda 2 plus 2 lambda plus K dot K but K is not given there so K is 0. So 0 into this means that is 0 so no need to take that value that is equal to 0. Then 6 minus 3 lambda plus 2 plus 2 lambda that is equal to 0. 6 plus 2 means 8. Then 8 minus lambda is equal to 0. Therefore lambda is equal to 8. A plus lambda B is perpendicular to C. Then find the value of lambda. So first we should find vector A plus lambda times of vector B. Understood? Then we should dot with C. Vector A plus lambda times of B in dot C is equal to 0 because they are perpendicular. 
then we should find the value of lambda. Understood? Then we can see next problem. Now that modulus of vector A into B vector plus modulus of B vector into A vector is perpendicular to modulus of A vector into B vector minus modulus of B vector into A vector for any two non-zero vectors vector A and vector B. We have to prove that these two vectors are perpendicular. Then their dot product is zero that much only. So modulus of A vector into B vector plus B vector into A vector dot modulus of a vector into b vector minus modulus of b vector into a vector okay that is equal to modulus of a vector into b dot modulus of a vector into b modulus of a vector into modulus of a vector means that is modulus of a vector square b vector into b vector modulus of b vector dot b vector means modulus of b vector square plus modulus of a vector into b vector minus this one so we can write here this is minus here then modulus of a vector into a vector modulus of b vector into modulus of b vector Okay, this is B vector only. B vector into modulus of B vector means that is B vector into modulus of B vector. Then next plus modulus of B vector into modulus of B vector into A vector into modulus of A vector. Then minus modulus of B vector into modulus of B vector means that is modulus of B vector square a vector dot a vector means that is modulus of a vector square okay then we can cancel this this one and this one we can cancel then we will get modulus of a vector square into modulus of b vector square minus modulus of b vector square my into modulus of a vector square that is also is equal to zero then we can say that here these two vectors are perpendicular to each other. Okay, we should open the bracket only. Then we can cancel these two. Then uh, this modulus of A square into B square. Minus modulus of B square into modulus of A square. That is equal to 0. Okay. Then 12th question. If A vector dot A vector is equal to 0. And a vector dot b vector is equal to 0 then what can be concluded about b vector we know that a vector a vector dot a vector is equal to 0 means definitely we understood that vector a is 0 okay vector a is 0 there okay from this vector a vector dot b vector is equal to 0 from the first one, we already know that vector A is 0. So, 0 dot B vector is equal to also 0. So, B is any vector. B is any vector. Not necessary to be 0. B is any vector. Understood? A dot A means that is 0. So, A is 0. A dot B means 0. So, A is already 0. Then 0 dot B means that is 0. So, we know that B is uh, not necessary to be 0. It is any type of vector. Understood? The next 13th question. If A, B, C are unit vectors such that vector A plus vector B plus vector C is equal to 0. Find the value of A dot B plus B dot C plus C dot A. So, first we should take vector A plus vector B plus vector c that is equal to 0 then first we dot a dot vector a plus b plus c then b dot vector a plus b plus c then vector c dot vector a plus vector b vector c that is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 means that is also 0. Okay. Then A dot A means that is modulus of A square. Then plus 
a dot b a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot a plus modulus of b square plus b dot c then c dot a plus c dot b plus c dot c means that is modulus of c square that is equal to 0 then modulus of a square a and a b c are unit vectors we know that modulus of vector a that is equal to modulus of vector b that is equal to modulus of vector c that is equal to 1 so we should write here 1 plus a dot b plus b dot a both are same so we should write here 2 times of a dot b okay plus a dot c plus c dot a so we can also write here 2 times of a dot c so we should take the two outside then plus b dot c and c dot b are same so we should write here 2 times of b dot c b dot c plus modulus of b square means that is 1 plus modulus of c square that is also 1 is equal to 0 then 1 plus 1 plus 1 means that is 3 3 plus 2 times of a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c that is equal to 0 therefore a dot b plus b dot c plus c dot a that is equal to minus 3 by 2 but 3 plus 2 times of a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c is equal to 0 then a dot b plus a dot c plus b dot c is equal to minus 3 by 2 understood okay then 14th question if either a vector is equal to 0 or b vector is equal to 0 then a dot b is equal to 0 but the converse need not be true justify your answer with an example here either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to then a dot b is equal to 0 then we know a is equal to 0 then a dot b is equal to 0 otherwise b is equal to 0 then a dot b is equal to 0 but the converse need not be true means a dot b is equal to 0 there is not necessary that vector a and vector b are 0 ok a dot b is equal to 0 means a and b are perpendicular then also a dot b is equal to 0 ok we have to show this with an example we have to prove this with an example ok let us see then vector a is equal to i minus 2j 2j plus k i minus 2j plus k ok then modulus of vector a is equal to root of 1 plus minus 2 square means that is 4 plus 1 that is equal to root 6 that is not equal to 0 then vector b that is equal to ok vector b is equal to i plus 3j plus 5k then modulus of vector b that is equal to root of 1 plus 9 plus 25 that is equal to root of 35 that is also not equal to 0 understood so vector a i minus 2j plus k then modulus of vector a means that is root 6 that is not equal to 0 vector b means that is uh, i plus 3j plus 5k modulus of vector b means that is root 35 that is also not equal to 0 then we have to show that a dot b is equal to 0 ok let us see a dot b a dot b that is equal to i minus 2j plus k dot i plus 3j plus 5k then 1 into 1, 1 minus 2 into 3 means minus 6 then plus 5 then 6 minus 6 means that is 0 
So a dot b is equal to 0 there. Here a dot b is equal to 0 but a and b are not 0. Okay. Either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 then a dot b is equal to 0. But a dot b is equal to 0 there is not necessary that a and b are 0. If a and b are perpendicular then we can say that a dot b is equal to 0. Okay. Vector a is equal to i minus 2j plus k. Vector modulus of vector a is root 6 that is not equal to 0. Vector b is equal to i plus 3j plus 5k. So modulus of vector b means that is root 35 that is also not equal to 0. But the dot product is 0. Understood? Okay guys, study up to here the remaining problem we will see in the next class. Until then, bye.